Um, CBTS means uh, nation, national competency-based uh, standard for uh, teachers. Actually, when we talk about CBTS, that is a theoretical framework. Uh, that means it is actually it will define the different dimensions of effective teaching. For effective teaching means being able to help all types of students and also be able to link, link with, uh, with the community. Now this NCBT is a, it, as a framework actually has seven domains where each domain has different strands. NCBT is also um, you uh, being used as a tool, instrumental to be able to um, evaluate teachers in terms of effective uh, teaching strategies, methods, and innovations. It's not um, only limited to the four corners of the classroom, but we also have to link to communities. That is the reason why we have to um, get also some stakeholders such that there is also participation for them. We are not only dependent on the national administration. So that is why we are having this what we call Adapa School Program. So in our school we have we have reached to the to the peak by which we we are awarded as the, the Hall of Famer in the Region 7 for the Vidal School because we are able to convince a big a stakeholder just like Gotong uh, Gotong group of companies also have the Alpalan we have the City Savings Bank and all other uh, stakeholders uh, Since the implementation of uh, the start of the implementation of the NCPTS um, even up to now, since by next year we will be having the, the uh, full implementation of the uh, K-12, after which we are going to add two more for the senior high school. So as a teacher, of course we have to identify the domains, no? uh, for example the social regard for learning, by which we are going to consider the the general the welfare of the students, uh, giving them enough or if not well equipped, but just um, we are able to to have to give them the up to the optimum level in terms of uh, the tools, the equipments, and also we have been using NCBTS in our classroom. Uh, discussion because we also create um, learning environment which is conducive for them. It is really a great help to them. So we will we will be able to know the back. It's not only the present situation of the students in school. But we are able to know also the background of the, the students as to the background of their parents, the, their social environment, and also how, how do the people in the community help molding the, the, the life, the total person of the student.